Now, all this debating is making me hungry, and I want to talk about food and fairness. Sorry, Michelle. So, how many of you normally have lunch? Remember that thing, that thing that comes after breakfast and before dinner? Well, both Eat and Cafe Nero have told their staff that free lunches are now a thing of the past because they have to pay the living wage. But this is more than just about balancing the books. This is about an attack on lunch. And to me, it's become a symbol of corporations that are out of control. Workers in every sector are being squeezed while bosses at the top get multi-million pound payouts. It seems there's no such thing as a free lunch if you're at the bottom of the corporate structure. But if you're at the top, you can have your cake and eat it too. So I'm here to tell big business, stop this war on lunch. It's just not fair. Goodness, here we go. All right, go on, Michelle. <laughs> I promise you, I'm trying really hard to think of ways and places to agree with you. <laughs> I haven't quite managed it. I haven't quite managed it. Um, I see your point, yeah. um, but um, I would say a few things to this. So, firstly, I support the living wage. I think yeah. anybody that goes to work must be able to afford to live, because if you don't, you see a heavier dependence on things like tax credits, and it's just wrong. So I absolutely support this. Mm -hmm. um, I think what's happened is inevitable. I think that businesses were always going to look for a way of recouping this cost. Which is why we need to legislate to make sure that they cannot do that. Yes, but hold on, sir. They were always going to recoup their costs in one of two ways. They were either going to pass the cost on to the customer mm -hmm. or they were going to look to make savings elsewhere. So mm -hmm. what we're seeing here now is the latter. They're mm -hmm. looking and they're going, right, what can we do? Yep. So what these corporations were doing was um, m above what they needed to do. So they don't have to pay, they don't legally have to pay you for your lunch break. So those that were choosing to do so mm. before were going above and beyond, if you want to say that, the, the, the law. What people are doing now, and we have to stop and think about perks. Mm. What is the purpose lunch is of not perks? A perk, I didn't Michelle. say it was. That is but not. I didn't perk. say nobody's withdrawing lunch breaks, June. What people but, are saying but is the that they're, they're not, not. But the fact that you're not being paid for them means it's considered as a perk. To me, no, lunch is not it's a, a perk. it's a legal break that you have to have. No employer can legally remove that. None no. of these employees are choosing to do so. They are but, choosing not to pay, and they don't have but to. But these are companies that were paying it before by choice. So, but, they didn't have to. But the fact is, they were paying it before. And I'm sorry, to me, this is just symb symbolic of a much larger problem, which is that this government allows so many corporations to get away with whatever so they let, want. Is it let purely, me ask you this. Is it purely it is. about the bottom line being profit? Well, of course it is. It's all about the margin. And it's not about thinking. It's not about people. And it's not about people. And it's not about thinking about their workers. So let me ask you this: because then. at the end of the day, these top corporate bosses are not cutting their own lunches. They're all having fancy these lunch breaks. These top corporate bosses are also responsible for making the decisions that employ tens of thousands of people precisely. and pay the mortgages and pay the rents and put children at schools and children's feet. And to make sure that they pay them, pay them fairly. Have you? Uh, now, just out of interest, June, okay. have you ever run a business the size of some of these sandwich bars and coffee shops? Not yet. No, not One yet. Day. Well, your time will come. <laughs> I don't. I'm I don't blame them for a second. Are you Not serious? for a second. Nick, and this I is went what, into on. an eat and spoke to their workers, mm -hmm. and I have to say, I was horrified when I heard what was going mm -hmm. on. What? What's going on? Because what's happened is, since the living wage has come into effect, it means that before, not only were they right. paid for their lunch breaks, mm -hmm. but they also used to get a subsidy, which would, imagine you're working in a food establishment, mm -hmm. they used to get a subsidy that would help them buy their lunches too. June, I just need to tell you, the okay. average hour, eat have told us, the average hourly rate rate in EAT is now £7.60 an hour, some margin above the living wage yep. rate set by the government. So yep. they're paying more than but, they need. No, but if you're not paying so, for lunches anymore and now you're no longer giving your is, subsidies to your workers... This is precisely workers, what the Federation uh, what of What we've got is that you're robbing Peter to pay Paul, Nick. This is precisely it's what the wrong. I'll try again. This is precisely what the Federation of Small Businesses warned, that either people would lose their jobs or that, as Michelle says, and don't be people. These are bosses. They <laughs> will find ways to save the money. They have but to. That's Guess what? Not the it's point. a big, bad world out there. All they're doing there, is thinking you know? about shareholders. All they're doing is not thinking true. about their CEOs. They are not thinking about not their true. workers. Well, and these workers deal off. with the customer. Can I ask you a question, You keep then, your Samira. worker happy, you keep your customer happy. The living wage. We've been subsidised, particularly with the supermarkets, we have been subsidising them for years because they've underpaid their staff. And it's about time that this government, this Tory government, does something Workers about it. Workers are there right. to work. The, nearer. Nick! Like, <laughs> nearer, June. So the living wage is only for 25 and above. 
That's the law. Okay. Nero have applied that to all workers, even those below 21. So why, but then why do you shake your head? Because you're really quick to criticise and go, you've taken away their sandwich, you're a disgrace. But then when I point out something that's good, mm. so they are giving this wage to people that they do not have to, you're still shaking your head and critical. Oh, why? no, 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 no. I'll give them credit where credit is due. Well, you due. didn't, because I just gave them. That deserved credit and you shook your well, head. Well, I'll give them the credit to keep Thank on happy. Ultimately, ultimately, but surely, I'm sorry. ultimately, it's a choice, it isn't is it? It is about for looking... For, for and company, it's about being fair. Yeah, but it's for a company, so they have a choice, don't they? They either pay more or subsidise more, or a combination of the two. And actually, I think if they want to charge more, I think a lot of people would happily pay it to make sure that mm. their that, workers well, will yeah, receive... I think yeah. more for the, yeah, yeah, make the, the coffee. Pay. Yeah, make yeah, the pun to pay. Make the pun to pay. Let's talk about coffee. But yeah, the price of coffee. Make the pun yeah. to pay. It's not yeah. an unsustainable business. So, so now your, your if business you know solution, that, If you know June. that people are actually... Earning yeah, enough to cost be able to the pump. Are you raving mad? Right? So now we're no. running a coffee shop. We're going to charge more for coffee and sandwiches than anybody else well, so we look, make our workers no, feel oh, good. Why don't we just go out of business no, now? Just sell the right. shops. Let me, let me, right, I'll tell you what's going to happen. This and is I'm the gonna, problem. This June, is... you need to listen to me because I'm Sorry. about go to on. partly okay. agree with you. Oh, good. I partly. Don't get carried away. What will happen in my prediction, and I understand business a bit, is that this will naturally correct itself because. When I started this, I said, what is the purpose of a perk? Mm. A perk mm. is to attract staff, it's yeah. to motivate staff and, and to keep retain the best staff. staff. Yeah, exactly. to retain staff. Yeah. When you start doing things like removing a lunch or whatever, I don't care, I don't think they're doing anything wrong, but what is going to happen, let me finish, mm. what's going to happen is that other competitors to mm -hmm. these coffee shops, they're going to say, actually, do you know what? We I will offer a sandwich. And what will happen is that people will go, right, I can get a job there, I can get a job there. This one's going to give me a free but sandwich. But not, not necessarily... And not, but not, with, not, not necessarily with that level of work, because at the end of the day, you know, we are talking at people who are earning the lowest in our society. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you don't have as many options. If you are the managing director of whatever big corporation, yes. No, I think Dubes is right, because what's going to happen you. is... As Graham so. said, the employers have got a choice as to whether How they want to pass the cost on to us or whether they want to take away the free panini. And what's going to happen is that all the coffee shops mm. are going to rebrand and they're going to call themselves Central Perk. They're going to steal all the customers from everywhere else. So they can the say, right you know, thing. you can have your But your what I will say, Nick, can I just say one yeah. to your point? When, if you look at, let's say, with the case of B&Q, and you yep. had a, a, an MP like Siobhan McDonough who actually stood up and made those companies do the right thing, if our government actually legislates and forces them, they will change if they have to. Right. In the case of B&Q, they have done. Well, are these firms taking the panini? It's up to you <laughs> to decide.